In this video, we will know about types of friction. The force of friction or frictional force is of three types. Static friction, sliding friction and rolling friction. Let us know about each friction one by one. Let's begin with static friction. When we apply a force on a body to make it move and it does not move, the force applied is balanced by the force of friction. Thus, the force of friction in static situation is self-adjusting. Such force of friction is called static friction as it is exerted when a body or an object is at rest. Understood? So, what is static friction? Static friction is the friction exerted on an object at rest. Or we can say that the maximum frictional force present between any two objects when one object just tends to move or slip over the surface of other object is called static friction. Static friction is a kind of starting friction because an object just tends to start moving. It does not actually move. Understood? The object remains static or stationary. Sliding friction. Sliding friction is the force that opposes the motion between two contact surfaces that slide against each other. It means sliding friction is the friction exerted when an object slides over a surface. Students see here. When force is applied to this box, it starts moving. This box is moving on the floor or sliding on the floor. When it is sliding, a force is acting against its movement in just opposite direction in which it is sliding. This is called sliding friction. Understood? Sliding friction is smaller than static friction. Do you know why? Because it is easier to keep an object moving which is already in motion than to move the same object from rest or stationary position. Understood? Good. Rolling friction. When an object rolls over the surface of another object, the resistance to its motion is called rolling friction. Understood? We know that it is always easier to roll than to slide an object over another object. So, rolling friction is much less than sliding friction. Thus, Rolling reduces friction. Understood? Since rolling friction is much less than sliding friction, it is very easy and convenient to put heavy luggage fitted with rollers. You might have seen the suitcases and traveling bags are provided with small wheels. These wheels have very small amount of rolling friction which help easy movement of suitcase and traveling bags. See this roller skates. These are having small wheels which offer very small rolling friction and help skater to move fast. Understood? So, I hope you understood that static friction is the maximum and rolling friction is the minimum. Understood? Good.